Hi guys, thanks again for visiting us at RS Aquaculture. So in this video, I'll be actually talking the role about activated carbon that is actually being used to remove some of the discoloration that we have in our water, and which is mainly due to tannin. And I'll explain to you some of the results and some of the water quality impact the activated carbon has on my systems. <laughs> So after every batch of a bioflox cycle, what we tend to do is to use the settling tanks to knock out all of the bioflox in the remaining system. But however, the water will still remain a bit brownish in colour, which you see uh, over here. But it's not to say that the shrimps will die if the water has a bit of tinted brownish colour. But instead, in this video, what we'll try to do is to attempt to use activated carbon as a method to remove some of the water colours in the systems. So here we have two samples, right? And in one of the samples, we'll be adding this activated carbon, which looks in a granular structure like this. And we'll weigh it. So for this experiment, we're actually using a very high concentration to try to speed up the process. So as you can see, when I add the activated carbon or activated charcoal into the water sample and leaving the one on the left as control, what you can see that we see an immediate reaction between the activated carbon and the water samples, right? So this is due to adsorption of uh, some of the particles that are being adsorbed into the activated carbon. So if you really take a closer look into this, zoom into this uh, activated carbon and upon the reaction between the water sample, what you will see there are a lot of gas bubbles that are bubbling out from the activated carbon, meaning that the air are being released from this activated carbon, allowing for these molecules to adsorb onto the surface. So just after five minutes after you will see that you know we can what we tend to do at this point is to clearly mix up the water sample with the activated carbon. And at the first glance, you might think that there's not much of an effect. And this is only after five minutes. So what we're going to do now is we're going to filter through uh, some of the activated carbon, right? So just to get a clear filtrate at the bottom. So we, you know, we minimize the effect of the activated carbon onto the water sample. And after five minutes, we do see some slight discoloration. But, you know, for this to work, the activated carbon will need a longer period of time. So what we have done here is to just continue mixing and place back the water that has been treated with activated carbon. And what we see here is after one day. So you can see after being settled out and allowing ample time for activated carbon to work with the water sample, you can see that the yellow tint is slightly disappearing. And most of the gas bubbles that were visible on the charcoal, you know, were not visible unless you were shaking the sample out and you see can more bubbles were being released from the activated carbon that's below. So we then try to filter again to see, you know, have a direct comparison without the effects of the activated carbon inside the water sample. And this is what we actually get. As you can see, that is actually much clearer and it doesn't have this yellow tint anymore, meaning that some of the tannins have actually been absorbed into the activated carbon. So out of curiosity, you know, what we did before putting the activated carbon is to measure the water quality by ammonia, magnesium, and alkalinity. And after we put in the activated carbon, you can see that the ammonia did not drop, but instead what dropped was the calcium and alkalinity. So you have to be very careful what do you put inside the water as it might affect not only your colour, but also some aspect of the minerals that are crucial for shrimp farming. <laughs>